Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Amanda Starr's Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I am reviewing Bethany Noel, the second follow-up fragrance to Bethany Moda, which came out last year, this exact same day, through Air Apostle. Um, I did a review of that last year, um, almost a little over a year ago. Um, it hasn't been quite a year because I didn't get it on launch last year, but I did today. Um, for a while there, Bethany Moda was actually the most viewed video on my channel. So, here I decided to do with a wildly successful first review, Bethany Noel. So, this one launched this year, 2015, and like I said, is a spin-off to the original Bethany Moda. It was launched exclusively through Air Apostle here in the United States. Um, I also do know that it is available in Canada. I'm not sure about anywhere else, but I do know it's exclusive to Air Apostle. Um... This one is probably going to hold the record for the fastest announcement time to getting with you guys um, or to me posting or whatever you want to call it because I got this, I posted about it at like 6 or 7 o'clock this morning. I knew about it well before that but I didn't have the official notes and I didn't really want to post about it without the notes for you guys and then I got it later today, earlier, later on today. So. Um, box looks like this this time, and it's actually quite different from the original box, um, and it was way different than what I was expecting. So the box is gold this time, and it's got a big heart in the middle, which this heart looks like it's almost hand-drawn, and it really throws me off because it's not perfectly centered with the box, and it's kind of crooked. Um, but it says Bethany Noel, Eau de Parfum Spray, Eau de Parfum Perfume, 50 milliliters on the bottom. Then it says Bethany Moda up here with that awesome, fun little logo. Got a bow on top, straight gold on both sides, and then no like indication or no writing on this heart, just plain. And of course, it's got the love Beth. Um, the bottle this time, same heart shape as the last one, except for it's black. Um, still got that kind of tribal on the neck with a bow as well here, but the bow's a little more sheer this time. And then the bottom of it, which I don't know, let me try to turn this light on, which this light's not even plugged in. Let's see if I can show you guys this. So the bottom of this bottle is actually not to be late. Haha. Ha. Okay. So the bottom of this bottle's actually got like this. Oh, I don't think it's gonna show it. Okay, no, it's showing up in person, but it's not showing up here. Um, it's kind of got this like you can almost kind of see through the bottom, but not really. It's really, really hard to see through, but the bottom's almost like where there's not liquid, you can kind of see. I might be going crazy, but anyway, it says X or Love Beth on the bottle like it did last time. So this one, the top notes were lemon meringue and dewberry. The middle notes were maple syrup, and the base notes were lemon or er, vanilla crystals. So I will tell you guys that this is its tagline was uh, "Be sassy, be seductive, be bold" or something like that. With this one, when you first spray it, you get that lemon meringue, kind of like a creamy lemon burst. Um, the dewberries kind of add that light berryness to it, but you really kind of get the vanilla from the base throughout this whole entire um, fragrance. I get a little bit of musk in this, but that wasn't listed as a note, but I do get some musk in there. With this, the maple syrup's not extremely, extremely strong, but it is there and it kind of adds this like light syrupiness to the fragrance. But overall, I really kind of feel like this is a creamy, nighttime, seductive vanilla scent. Um, it's not straight up vanilla like um, Mad Potion was, but this is a little more like zesty. I don't want to say zesty, because it's not really zesty, but it's a little more kind of syrupy, lemony vanilla. Um, I feel like it kind of really, when you get to the base, it really stands out with that vanilla. And I feel like the maple syrup kind of adds a creaminess to it. Um, kind of a creamy syrupiness to it. And But that lemon meringue always kind of is just there to kind of add like a, a sourness. Not a bitterness, not like a, not a zest, but like a bitterness. Um, bitter sourness to the fragrance. I bought this at, oh, 3 o'clock my time, which I live in central time, so... It is currently 11.11. So, therefore, 
This kind of, I can still smell it on my wrist pretty strong. Lasted about a good eight hours or so, and I can still smell it. Definitely like this one um, more for nighttime versus the first one. I like them both, but I feel like I am like this one a little bit more. Because I feel like the first one's a little too close to Aqualina's Pink Sugar. This one's definitely a lot better. Um, so, as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Bye.